Hello everyone. Uh, let's do a final wrap up of the tower. We finished it in the last build, and this time I wanna, and in this video I wanna go over uh, how it turned out and some changes that I've made. Uh, off in the distance there, you can see Archie, and then the fort over to the right, and then here's our tower in all of its glory. It's got this little tower, this little mini tower on the corner of the wall, and there's another one on the opposite corner there. The walls are looking very cool. Uh, we've got some inset windows up there. Uh, I put torches up. I decided on torches instead of the architect because I just feel like torches better fit the looks of the thing. So the walls are nice and tall. They're crenellated at the top. I really like the way those look. I put torches all around the sides of the towers up there just to light things up a little bit because I think it looks nice. Um, you can see, if, you're, if you look here, that there's no way in. There are no doorways. There's no breaks in the wall. Uh, this iron gate up front, of course, doesn't open or close. It's just permanently lowered. Uh, so we're going to have to teleport in via a teleporter back in my home. So let's do that now. So here's the top of the tower. Um, it used to just be a bare room, and the ladder stuck up one extra block in there. I think I know why. I think it's because it's a little difficult to get down the ladder from here, but it's okay. I'll, I'll live with that for now. Um, I've added this Grand Arctic table and the stone chair. I put the teleporter up here. I added a fire pit. I also added this door, uh, which comes out here to a, to a balcony that I've made, and apparently I've attracted a couple of mountain goats. I, I just added a chair, so, you know, whoever can sit out here. I thought it had a nice view, so um, I was lamenting that the fact that the top room of the tower didn't really afford a view of, of the land from how high up we are. So I went ahead and added this balcony and I think it looks really nice. Um, I may try to add one on the other side so we can see the ocean, which you can sort of see through the window here. The ocean's off in the distance there. So let's head down and see what else there's uh, changed here. Um, I have added torches all over the place to light the place up. Um, this room with the windows. You know what? Let's move these windows up, actually. Nope, that's the wrong block. That's the block that I want. There we go. I had intended to do this before, but but forgot, so let's just take care of it now. I don't like the windows on the floor. I think that's kind of silly. So there's the fort off in a different distance. There's Archie. Uh, I can't quite see home. It's past the, I guess, clipping plane. Uh, here we are about one floor down. There's the corner towers and the walls, which look really, really cool, I think. So we'll go down. Uh, this was that level that was had a one block gap all around the edge. I went ahead and closed that up. This this room is now pointless, of course, but it looks less weird now than it did before. Oh, there was one other change I made up. I made up here. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go down this ladder. So before there had been a one block gap all around this, and there this step wasn't here. It just this step was floating in midair. Was not floating, but it was. It was a jump to get up to it, so I added that step. So now we've got some nice steps up to the up to this side. Uh, so let's head back. Let's head down farther. Here's the room with the one block gap. Here we are down farther. There's our corner tower and crenellated walls. Corner tower over there. Uh, nice precarious stairway back up. We'll head farther down the ladder. This room, also pointless. It's very small. Um, perhaps bookshelves or something would look nice here. Bookshelves. Ooh, I can even make some. I can make one. Well, I'm not going to bother making one. This whole wall here could be covered with bookshelves, and this alcove could be covered with bookshelves. Uh, that might actually look really cool. So this alcove, this is the, I, could, I could put like eight of them here, and then four of them there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to think about that. I wish I had thought of that earlier. It would be done now. That's fine, though. Oh, and then this area is very plain. It could probably use, I don't know, a bed or something might look nice in there. I don't know. And then down to the bottom floor, if you'll remember, this all used to be dead grass, so I've, I've paved it. It is now covered in uh, stone floor blocks, which I think I like. And the stone floor continues out here into the courtyard. I added this path from the, from the wrought iron gate. To iron bars and to the tower and I continued it on around the tower as well just to give the tower a kind of foundation to sit on. 
Uh, these tower, these flowers were already here. I just went ahead and left them uh, because I think they add a little, a little bit to the, to the dead grass of the area here. So let's climb up in one of those little towers, these little sub towers here. Uh, these are kind of cool. We get a little bit of a view. There's the tower itself with our goats out on a balcony that I built. Um, and was there something else I wanted to show? I can't remember. I really just like... Oh, let's have a look at this from down here. Is that going to hurt? No, that doesn't hurt. This just just look at that. Look at the way that, that turned out. With the stairways on either side and the ladders. And then I really love this uh, stacked stone wall used as a support member for the, the stone block floors. I like that a lot. I think that looks so great. Um, I added a diamond slab here, rotated sideways. Just because I thought, I felt like, I think you, if you remember earlier in the series, I felt like this needed something. And since I can't have like a coat of arms or anything like that, I went ahead and added, added that. I thought it was just a nice little thing. And more torches, of course. Uh, and I think that's the whole tower build. I think, I just, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. It's a, it's a great and mighty thing. And it's tall and really slender. But I feel like the weight of these walls balances it out nicely. It's it's just it's just a good looking build. Um, I'm really really pleased with it all around. So uh, now let's head back home really quick, and we're going to take the teleporter out to the other building site in case you haven't seen it in the in the previous video. Uh, here we are back in the teleporter room. We've added, or I've added this longhouse building site teleporter that goes out. So now we've got a teleporter out to the fort, to the wishing well, to the tower, and now to the longhouse building site, which is, as with a couple other ones, far enough out that uh, the teleporter takes some time. It's not instantaneous like it is to the fort, or to the wishing well, for that matter. So as soon as this wraps up here, any time now, we're out on the, the tundra still, and we're going to build the longhouse out on the tundra because I think it, it fits there. This is the site. It's going to be quite a big thing. It's, um, how many blocks is it? I forget. It was a lot of blocks. And actually, the number of blocks is why I picked it. It is 5,090 blocks. By comparison, the tower was 5,200. So it's going to be pretty similar in, uh, the, in the complexity and, and size, which is, which is great. I really like these big builds. Uh, and over here, I've got the kit laid out with all the parts we're going to need for it. And this one includes torches, so at least it's lit, unlike many of the other builds we've been doing. Um, so there you have it. Uh, let's walk over here and get a distance view of the tower. There it is. You can see the corner. And there it is. It's resolved in the distance. There's the tower. You can see the balcony up there. Um, and I looked at it earlier from the fort, and I thought it looked pretty cool, too, at night. Uh, let's advance the time to the tonight and then we'll teleport to the fort and have a look at it I think it's lit up pretty well with the torches or you know not well it's not super bright it's not like there's spotlights on it or anything but it's lit up pretty well by the torches nice and uh, accented I think I'm starting to ramble but that's okay because I'm really pleased with the fort and I kind of want to show her with the um the tower and I want to show it off a little so let's head up here head over oh I meant I meant to sleep and advance it to nighttime and totally forgot so let's do that very quickly there we go eggnog warrior went to sleep there I am snoozing and here we go now it is 10, 10.39, 10 10.40 p.m. Head over to the fort. We're going to get our sword ready just in case we get attacked. Uh, I have come across a bunch of bad stuff. Actually, the other day I was working on, or earlier today, as a matter of fact, I was working on the tower at night. And, oh, there it is. Now you can see it from here. It, it, I just think it looks really neat. Uh, I was working on the tower at night, and a frost, arctic, excuse me, an arctic mirror dropped down from the the peak stone roof up there onto my balcony and attacked me. It was very scary. Uh, there's just little pigsies down there. So, there's the tower, all lit up at night. 
uh, I think I think it looks pretty cool. I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed the series, and I hope you stick around for the next one, the, the Longhouse build, which should be another probably three or four part video, and I'll try to finish it on camera so we can get the fireworks. I didn't get fireworks when I finished this one. I suspect it's because I swapped out the, um, the grass in the build for dead grass, and I think that kind of freaked it out, so I didn't see any fireworks this time, that time. Um, hoping to see him for the longhouse, though, and I hope you'll uh, you'll be there to see him as well. So thanks very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.